See that? It's very cold. I've got all my stuff on. I'm wearing all my clothes. It's cold. They're still out by the tent. So to recap what happened, the first day we uh, headed out as all as a group, we stayed at Maple Leaf Lake and then um, we had to do an evac. So I went back with them with my group and the other two went ahead and we dropped two people off at the, the uh, parking lot to do the evac. One had um, uh, um, Man, it's really blowing out there. Uh, one had uh, uh, a cyst that uh, erupted <laughs> uh, in her uh, in her ovaries, so that wasn't good. So I'm glad I got her out. The other twisted his, his ankle and uh, felt nauseous after that. I'm not sure what was going on. We'll find out when that happened when we get back. And then we headed back up the trail um, uh, to uh, on, on the counterclockwise way. And then we stayed a couple lakes. Um, then oh, two days later, I think we maybe three, we met the other group uh, of, of the three groups, the second group coming back the other way. We scared them, we spooked them. It was, it was a lot of fun. And then we crisscrossed and they went one way, we went the other. And we stayed in this lake uh, for the day, actually two nights on this lake, Oak Lake, I think it is. And we circled around the lake for the day, bushwhacked, went even north of it into the nature reserve zone uh, to see the uh, the um, really um, rare uh, fen and uh, it was kind of neat and also we went in to see the red spruce up in the ridge so and they're still having fun out there I don't know if you can hear them but they're having fun uh, and a cold night like this we're doing good <laughs> all right I'm getting cuddling and it's, it's it's time for bed It is the morning of, um, hmm, uh, second last morning, and uh, it, it is bitter cold. Um, or maybe I'm just getting old. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I'm getting old. Uh, but uh, we did stay warm last night. We used the uh, the bivy bags, and um, this new bag, um, well, I was going to use on the trip, but Marissa, oh, Marissa, <laughs> needed a new sleeping bag. Uh, so I used my old sleeping bag. This bag uh, I got just before the trip. Uh, it's a Eureka. The reason why, 120 bucks. All right. So um, it is rated to, um, well, the way they rate this, so this is what the Spiro uh, 20 degrees Fahrenheit minus 7 degrees Celsius regular, right? So Spiro. And what that means is it can go down to minus, minus 7, which it did a couple times on this trip. And were you cold, Marissa? What? Were you cold? Not really, no. Not really, not, not really, no. So obviously it worked. And also the regular was B minus two. So this is actually a good bag for the fall. If it's minus two regular, um, I would say that that is a good bag for you, especially for 120 bucks. And uh, it's three pounds, it compresses really well. It comes with a, its own compression sack, so I really like. And uh, compression sack is not waterproof, so maybe if you want to get a waterproof compression sack, it'd be good. Uh, do you have anything else to say about your sleeping bag that you borrowed off me? Thank you. He, she's thanking me, so obviously it's not that bad of a bag. <laughs> and um, did you wear did you wear the uh, escape bivy as well with that? No. Oh, you didn't? No. Oh, I thought you did. No. Nope. Oh, actually, this is a good bag. <laughs> um, seriously, okay, I, I really highly recommend this bag then, because it was minus nine the first the night first night was minus nine, and you you, you were not cold. Enough. Not really, no. Just All, right. Case. All right, that's a good bag. Thanks a lot. Um, I'm going because it's cold. I'm getting some coffee. Werewolves. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Hat coming off on day five. Day six. It's oh, day, day six. six. <laughs> I don't know what it looks like. I don't want to know yet. Yeah. Uh, we found a, a, a brown hoodie down there. We found these hanging here. Campus crew. Crew, not 1988. So whether you sold yourself or not and just left your pants there, I'm not really so liking the person that did this. Off. I'm not sure of the story. Uh, none of us are liking this whole thing. Uh, people just don't care. Uh, they just, oh, I'm hot. I don't want to carry this anymore. Let's put them on the tree. And we found that at the second camp that we stayed at. Just a whole bunch of garbage everywhere where the outhouse hole was. It was just brutal. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to say about it. Um, except I'm getting tired of carrying everybody else's garbage out. <laughs> I think they should have more wardens here. I think they should have higher fines. I mean, I, I think it's 150, 250, maybe max uh, for leaving garbage. I think it should be a thousand. Um, maybe people will think twice. I've talked to people saying, well, I've left garbage behind. 
well, it's a small fine, I won't even drive up to worry about it, just pay it, pay it. Then that means you're going to have to uh, start buying them more and make them think more, because they don't really care. Self-interest society will be the end of us. Or I'm just getting old and cranky. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting old and cranky. Yeah, the extreme group is the vegan group. Oh, They're going all vegan. Can you hear that? But none of them are vegan except one, right? Yeah, none of them are vegan except one. So they could have all, as a group, come together and figure out what to eat. But you know what? They let two people decide what to bring and what to eat. And that was it. Pretty now everything is vegan diet. We have, wait a minute, we have a vegetarian on this trip. Yeah. So, sir, what do you think of that? You're a vegetarian. Yeah, I'm a vegetarian. So imagine that extreme dude group that did probably 112 kilometers. But I'm uh, used to being a vegetarian. Yeah, so that's so I think. They're not. And I know that there's some big guys on that yeah. trip that need to eat meat or need to sustain. So as long as they brought enough protein, then they should be okay. Uh, what was the uh, best part of your trip so far? The highlight of my trip would have to be the salsa that we ate earlier today. That was very good. Yeah. The highlight of your entire seven days is. is salsa. Yeah. yeah. Not your trip partners, <laughs> not the willingness, no. not... No. I could do without them, but I couldn't do without the salsa. <laughs> Paul, you look like you've been in the bush for a while. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, you actually look like the, you know when you get that dried meat and there's a Sasquatch on it? <laughs> <laughs> so Paul, what was the best part of your trip? Um, a cup of soup, cup probably. Of soup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>